Before I start this video, I'm going to give a massive shout out to Austin Aragon, who's my 1000th subscriber on YouTube. Hello and welcome to Tech Peffle. James Otto here and today I'm unboxing and reviewing the Logitech C270 HD webcam. It's from the number one selling webcams in the world, so hopefully they should know what they're doing. Go beyond built-in, flexible and adjustable. So hopefully this webcam should be better quality than the one that's built into your laptop. So down here we have HD 720 quality, we've got 3 megapixel stills, built-in microphone and finally adjustable brightness. Or auto brightness, I don't actually know what that means. Um, we'll soon find out, it probably tells you in the box. It works with Skype, Google Hangouts and also FaceTime for Mac. On the side here it just gives you a comparison with the C270 versus their other models. Obviously this is just typical marketing telling you to buy the more expensive models. This is the budget version but I actually got this in a closing down sale. If you're familiar with Maplins, they're a UK electrical retailer and unfortunately they're closing down. But that does mean that I actually got this in the sale so I got it a little bit cheaper. Unfortunately that does mean they did let me know that if anything goes wrong they probably can't really do anything about it. So yeah, I'll put some links in the description of where you can buy this. So on this little table it tells you that it's got HD 720p HD video calling. Photo quality is 3 megapixels, video quality is plus, whatever that means, focus type, fixed focus, built-in mic, auto light correction, so that's what that little icon thing means there. And finally, it doesn't have 360 degree, all of that sort of stuff. Anyway, on the back we have Stay Connected in widescreen HD 720p. So what this little image does, it kind of looks like a stock photo, but yeah, it basically tells you that that's what, like, normal definition if you've ever watched a 480p video on YouTube you know it looks a bit rubbish versus HD widescreen looks a lot better stay connected in HD 720p you will enjoy fluid widescreen HD 720p video calls on Skype FaceTime for Mac and nearly all other video calling clients this sort of tag things kind of annoying me a bit it's, it's, you can't even see it in, it's this little thing here, it's kind of wobbling around stay um, photos are easy to send and finally you can look and sound your best I mean who doesn't want that it basically just adjust background noise so it doesn't ruin your video or adjust the brightness so if things get a bit bright or too dark you'll look cool so I think these just other images just tell you what those things basically mean so yeah that's in the dark room and it will somehow these stock images really aren't helping them very well it's kind of a bit sort of cheesy but anyway we have come on come on camera yep we can do this the specs HD video calling 1820 by 720 with supported video calling clients HD 720p video capture which wait isn't that just basically the same oh, I don't know um, 3 megapixels software enhanced built-in mic with noise reduction and finally a universal clip which is useful so it fits on laptops and LCD monitors. I'm going to put mine on top of a monitor so hopefully it will fit okay. Logitech webcam software for Windows. Pan, tilt and zoom controls, video and photo capture, face tracking and finally motion detection. I'm not actually sure does that mean it starts recording when you walk in the room? Who knows? We'll soon find out. Is there anything else in this box? It just tells you what's in the box which isn't a lot, they don't bother with CDs anymore, it's just all downloads. I think it actually tells you just here, yeah. Logitech.com forward slash downloads if you want to get your software. CDs not supported anymore. Mm, what else is there on the box? Oh yeah, finally on the bottom, it actually has some useful information on the bottom, which they've kind of hidden away, which is a bit annoying. Uh, it's really small, I think, yeah, can you see that on the camera? Hopefully. The actual, <laughs> this is my thumb, that's how small this text is, it's like the world's smallest font is probably like size one um anyway english system requirements compatible with windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 or later works in usb video device class uf uvc mode no idea mac os 10.6 or later chrome os or android 5.0 or above with supported video calling clients as USB port, oh, you need a USB, it doesn't have a USB support, you need a USB port in your computer, and finally, an internet connection would be useful if you're going to be using Skype and stuff like that. Uh, please visit your video calling provider's website for information on that sort of stuff. On here, it does actually tell you that you get a two-year manufacturer's guarantee on full 
product support so that's nice from logitech to offer that for us so yep we've got all the logos here windows 10 windows 8 windows 7 usb i'm not sure if it'll work with xp does it tell you uh no let's go and undo the box health and safety first yep that was a fail health health and safety first health and safety first nice Nope. I, I I need to get better at unboxing things, don't I? I'm making a right mess. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes. I'm not quite as good as unboxing things than Flossie Carter. If you've ever watched any of his videos, you just go, rah! And you can just undo, undo the box. I need to get better at doing that. I'm absolutely rubbish at undoing boxes. Anyway. Let's undo this if I can. Come on, box. What do we have in here? Oh no, we've forgotten something very important. Whoosh. Wow, look, look how much instructions. I'm sure we don't need. Oh yeah, this is probably all the different languages. Look at this. This is. That is a lot of instructions, but luckily they are multi multiple languages. That is not how you. That's not just English. So I've, I've, I can't even fold it up now. I'm just gonna sort of put it. So hopefully we don't need the instructions. Let's move on to the webcam. How do we get this out here? It looks very nice in its packaging. So it's sort of taped in. Okay. So the cable comes pre-attached. So this does this actually come out? This this is confusing. Uh, oh, does it come out the front? Oh, here we go. I have to undo this tape thing first. So here is the camera itself. As you can see, it's very shiny. It has a nice sort of grey, glossy finish, but like a sort of graphite colour. Looks very stylish. And then here we've got the indicator light, the lens, and the front-facing microphone. And finally, the logo. Just to tell you here, it just says 720p, just to let you know that it's 720p, that's useful. And this clip is very straightforward. It's just a bit of grip material here and here. And it just sort of, like, depending on what like your screen thickness is, it, it can go like, all the way to there, or you can adjust it and have it like that depending on how thick your monitor is. So it can work on monitors and laptops. It gives you quite a generous amount of cable as well, which is nice and surprising. Undo one of these little twisty tie thingies. Yes, yeah, so that's quite a good amount of cable. That's surprising. For a budget device, it actually feels really nice and solid. It feels like something that's going to last a long time. It's a shame that the cable isn't removable, but I mean... Hopefully that should hold it in enough, but like build quality wise it feels nice and solid and it should last a long time. Installation of the webcam is nice and simple, it just has a adjustable clip on the back and you just sort of place it on your monitor like so, move it in the centre a bit more. You can also tilt it so you get your head in the right place. Now that we've unboxed the webcam, now it's time to install the software. So, monlogitech.com forward slash downloads, now it's time to find which drivers we need. So, there's a drop down for Windows, or Windows, Mac, iOS, Android or Chrome, and then you can select which sort of version you want. I'm selecting Windows 10, so hopefully all this software should be Windows 10 compatible. Uh, I'll just go and find the Logitech webcam software, it should be somewhere amongst all the software. This is quite a lot of things to scroll through, but we'll get there. Uh, webcam, here we go. Logitech webcam software, download now. Let's go ahead and open that, run. So it's just extracting all the files and we should be able to get to the setup shortly. Yep, I approve of Logitech installer, so here we go. Welcome, thank you for your purchase of a Logitech webcam, thank you. Let's get started, so just select our language. Okay, let's click next. Please plug your webcam into a USB port on your computer. Yes, we've done that already. Or I've done that. Uh, yes, webcam drivers, webcam software, and motion detection. So the drivers 
they just they're just the drivers for the webcam the webcam software is the easiest way to use your features on your webcam it's probably just some video software for recording and then you've got motion detection which keeps an eye on things when you're not around recording videos to let you know what happens so this is probably similar to some cctv software where it captures a movement in a room and starts recording automatically we'll just install all of it so now the software is all installed now it's just telling me what microphone i want to use now this is the one that i'm using at the moment just to record this video um i don't know what the other options are they don't really show much uh, i'll just go for that for now because i'll change it later <laughs> no idea anyway check out my webcam let's go so here is the logitech webcam software so we've got two options we can quick cap shut up phone we've got quick capture and webcam gallery so this is obviously stuff that you've recorded and then you've got the options for motion detection and webcam controller so let's just go with quick capture see what happens so if all is well you should be able to see me on this little preview here so first things i can see is that it's very wide angle you can see i've got a little model plane down there and that is quite far away that's all the way over there somewhere so yeah this camera can pick up a lot in the uh, frame so it's really wide angle Another thing that's occurred to me is that it's square, so that doesn't quite look like 720p. Uh, let me have a look. So controls, we've got controls for movement and stuff. Is it down here? Oh, here we go. So here we've got options for standard or wide screen. So I'll just select wide screen and then, so you've got options for 360p, 480p or 720p. So I think the reason why it selects the standard uh, ratio because the 4 by 3 ratio is because you can fit more in the shot when it's uh, standard. For me I don't think you really need to pick up that much of the room. I was surprised it picked up all the stuff that was over there. If you're having a webcam conversation you do not need to have tons of the whole room in shot basically. So yeah I did actually record some uh, video previously but I thought that those videos were a bit dark. I kind of had uh, unnatural light so I thought this would be a better test as we have daylight outside so yeah, this is really weird watching me talk whilst it's... Yeah, should I look at that or should I look at my screen? Uh, hello, hello. But yes, so here we go. We've got different options. We have controls here for... Oh, we have to zoom in a little bit. Wow, this is scary. And then you can sort of adjust the video. So say if I didn't want all that stuff at the top in short, I can just zoom in a bit more. And hooray, you can see my face. So... Yeah, this it's quite versatile on all this software. You can zoom in quite far. How far can you zoom in? Okay, this is getting really scary now. Whoa. Okay, yeah, but you probably don't really want to use it that close, but I mean, yeah, if you're really that far away from the camera, <laughs> then you probably do want to use it that close. It's very versatile, I'll put it that way. So, webcam options. What's this? So you've got right sound, right light. I guess that just auto volume and auto brightness. And we've got follow my face. What is this? Uh, click done. Okay. Oh, so what it does, it kind of, um, what do you call it? It sort of pans and zooms in the video. So if I move my head over here, it sort of moves it. And if I move my head, how far can I get? Yeah. That's, that's quite a nice novelty. I don't know if I'd actually use that or not because it's a bit sort of uh, juttery, but... I guess it's alright if you're just having a conversation and you're just moving around all the time for whatever reason. But yeah, here we go. So let's go to video. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is the video controls. I'm getting, I'm getting used to the software now. That was on, I was on photo mode the other time all along. So yeah, this is video mode. And we've got the option of the resolutions like we did before. There's an optimized 720p and a large 720p. Anyway, we've got microphone. So let's select the microphone's the webcam's microphone because using the microphone that I'm using now is an unfair test so here we go so let's go and head and record a video ding three two one is it recording yes hello and welcome to tech baffle this is a test of the logitech webcam that I've forgotten what the number was it's the model c270 this is going so well but hopefully it should be picking up my face I haven't got that follow my face thing on that was quite funny but we can give that a test afterwards. Yep, this is 720p HD resolution using the built-in microphone. So yeah, that should be pretty cool. It should look clear. I'm viewing this in widescreen. I'll move this thing out of the way. Uh, yeah, it should be widescreen. So when I'm editing this, this will be full screen. So it won't be in this tiny little preview screen. So yes, 
Hopefully this looks okay, I have absolutely no idea. So you can also play back your video as well. This is going so well. But hopefully it should be wow, that was glorious. But yes, <laughs> that was a good test. So yeah, you can play back your videos and it's probably in the webcam gallery, isn't it? Yeah, this is the webcam gallery, so you can yes. just play back Hello, your video. And to Shut up, James. So, what? should we try that? That's, I'm, I'm eager to find out what that uh, follow my face thing looks like in the video. So let's have a look. So it's just in advanced settings. Oh, no, it's not. Wait. No, what am I doing? No, 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 no. I've ruined everything already. Controls. Here we go. So, yeah, it's under controls. Follow my face. Done. Here we go. So, let's record a movie. Three, two, one. Move this out of the way. Hello, this is a Logitech webcam video thing. I'm using the follow my face, which I'm not sure if it's doing anything, but hopefully it's following my face. I don't know how far I can move before it just gives up, but... If I move further away, does it zoom in? I think it does. But yeah, hopefully this looks okay. You'll be you'll be able to judge that away and you can let me know in the comments. Now finally, we have one more thing. We have... I'll just turn this off because it's kind of distracting. So finally, we have the motion detection thing. I think that was on the main menu, wasn't it? So motion detection... So it's just a little separate app that does the motion detection. I'll walk out the room and then sort of appear and see if it starts recording or not. There. There. Yes, yes, it's recording. Hooray! Hooray! If you've had enough motion detection, just press that again and it turns it off. So you've got motion options as well. Motion sensitivity, you've got low or high. I can't tell what this microphone sounds like. Why am I... S what am I doing? So yeah, a lot of this software might need a little bit of an update it doesn't look too modern but it it's functional and it does what everything you'd want it to do and it has quite a few different features which is cool especially the motion detection and the follow my face thing which might come in useful so what do i think of the logitech webcam so i was going through my video editing i was wondering why on earth the audio kind of sounds a bit rubbish i thought maybe the microphone on it isn't as good as i thought it was and i was going through settings i went to advanced settings or something and turned off right sound. What right sound does is like a noise cancellation technology, which is good if you're in a really noisy environment, but if you're in a quiet room, it's probably best to leave it off because the sound quality will be a lot better. So overall, I think the Logitech C270 is a great choice, especially if you're looking for an HD webcam on a budget. I don't think you can really go wrong with it. The software on it works all right, but it could do with a little bit of updating. If you're looking for a webcam and you're on a budget and you need an HD webcam, I don't think you can go wrong with a Logitech C270. I'll put links in the description for where you can buy this webcam for yourself. For tech twice a week, you know what to do. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, and ding that bell icon too. Thanks for watching. Get all the info you need at techbaffle.com.